Hello, and welcome to our lesson on proportional reasoning. So we're going to use equivalent ratios to solve problems involving proportions. We'll begin with question one, where James is making a pastry by mixing flour and butter in the ratio of three to two. He has 450 grams of flour and plenty of butter. How much of a pastry can he make? To begin, we need to label our ratio with flour and butter. And we're told the ratio is three parts of flour to two parts of butter. And he has 450 grams of flour. So the 450 goes under the flour. We can use an equivalent ratio to calculate the amount of butter by multiplying the three by 150, because this makes the 450. And by multiplying both sides by the same value, the ratio remains equivalent. So 2 times 150 is 300. So we have 450 grams of flour, 300 grams of butter. In total, he can make 750 grams of pastry. For question two, we're told Stephen is mixing light pink paint. He mixes red paint and white paint in the ratio of one part of red to three parts of white. We can write this as a ratio. We have red to white, and for every one part of red, he has three parts white. Now we're asked to work out how much red paint he should mix with 12 litres of white paint. So the 12 litres goes on the side of the white. Using equivalent ratios, we can multiply the three by four to make 12. We do the same to the other side, and one times four is four. So he will need four litres of red paint. Okay, let's try one more question. In this question, Julia is making a cake. She starts by mixing flour and fat in the ratio of eight parts of flour to three parts fat. How much fat should she mix with 800 grams of flour? And how much flour should she mix with 60 grams of fat? Do you want to try these questions yourself? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So our ratio is flour and fat. And we have eight parts of flour to three parts of fat. And for question A, we are asked to work out how much fat she should mix with 800 grams of flour. So the 800 goes on the side of the flour. To keep the ratio equivalent, we're going to multiply both by 100. So we have 300 grams of fat. For part B, we have the same ratio of flour to fat. And we're asked how much flour should she mix with 60 grams of fat. We keep the ratio of balance by multiplying both by 20 because 3 times 20 is 60 and 8 times 20 is 160. So she'll need 160 grams. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.